Sometimes I get asked how we can simplify and even automate a series of predefined measurements that a rigger or less experienced technician can perform automatically out in the field. Well, the new option TPN task planner capability of the N9342C allows us to do exactly that by stepping the operator through a series of up to 20 tests and automatically saving the measurement results of each test into the instrument's internal memory without needing a PC out on site. Let's say we want the operator to make the channel power and occupied bandwidth measurements that we stored previously for this 2 GHz WCDMA transmitter. First, we copy these state files, Tony1 and Tony2, onto a USB memory stick and transfer them to our PC. Now, we'll use the free HSA software that comes with the N9342C to sequence them into a test plan. We can change the order in which the tasks execute. We can give each task a more descriptive name. We can enter a start message and end message that will be displayed to prompt the operator. We can set how many times each task should execute, or for how long. And in the report content section, we can tell the task plan what information to save to the test report. Marker values, pass-fail values, specific measurement results such as from this channel power measurement, the power value in dBm, or the spectral density in dBm per hertz. And we can even tell the task planner to save the screen image or the trace values as part of the test sequence. We can tell the task planner how we want the operator to step through each of the tests, automatically or manually. Finally, we give the task planner name and description and save it onto our USB memory stick for loading back into the analyzer. So I'll press Shift and File. And you can see the media type is USB. And here are the files on the USB stick. We'll scroll down to the WCDMA test plan that we've just saved. And we'll go Files Operation, Copy To, and select Internal Memory, and Copy. So our test plan is now saved into the internal memory of the N9342C. If I press Enter, you'll see here it says Task Planner Overview. It gives the name of the task plan, the description we gave it, and the two tasks. So if I press Run, it says here the instruction that we typed in for the operator, connect the transmitter to the analyzer. So we'll connect the transmitter and then press enter. The instrument's now making the first measurement, which is WCDMA channel power. It's saving the screenshots and creating a text file with the test results. Here you can see the measurements it's making of the marker value, whether it pass or fail, and here are the channel power measurement results again, indicating pass or fail. The operator then is given the options of redo the measurement, move on to the next measurement, or skip. So we'll press next for the next measurement. And now it's measuring automatically the occupied bandwidth measurement we asked it to do in step two of the task planner. Again, it's saving the JPEG images of the screen and it's added the measurement results now from the second task to our test report text file. We'll press next and return. And you'll see all the test results have been saved into a new directory on the N9342C called WACDMA Test Plan 1. If I press Enter, you'll see here the results of the tests we've just performed. The JPEG files of the screen captures and the report results, the test results, as a text file. And all of these can of course be copied onto your PC and saved and printed as required. And don't forget that now that we've created the task plan and loaded it into the analyzer, the operator can run all of these automated tests without the need for a PC out on site. Everything is contained within the N9342C, and all the results are saved directly into the internal memory of the analyzer. If you'd like further information on these products, including demonstration guides, operating manuals, or application notes, please visit the website shown below.